This tool here is truly an all-in-one device. So you can simply plug it into your charging station using again, the type one or Tesla type connector and perform all of your performance as well as safety measurements that are required. Hi, I'm Joel Frankie with Charge, and I'm here in Anaheim, California at the ACT Expo. And I'm here with Alex from Fluke. Hi, Alex. Hey, hey, I'm Alex Thompson with Fluke. Um, I'm a product manager. Uh, specifically, I tend to focus on our renewable projects. So um, different test and measurement tools to test uh, solar infrastructure as well as EV charging infrastructure. Okay, Alex, can you, can you talk to the audience a little bit about what we have in front of us here? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll just focus on um, our products that are specifically designed for testing EV charging infrastructure. Um, so here we have a product we launched a few years ago. It's the FEV100. Um, this is a test adapter that you can plug in using a Type 1 or Tesla type connector to an AC charging station that basically simulates a vehicle so that you can simulate different uh, charge um, or control pilot states, A, B, and C, and then use other test and measurement equipment like 87.5 multimeter or a scope meter to then pull off your measurements. Um, we also have here our next generation, which is the FEV 150, whereas the FEV 100 is more of a test adapter where you need to use other test and measurement devices. This tool here is truly an all-in-one device. So you can simply plug it into your charging station using, again, the Type 1 or Tesla type connector and perform all of your performance as well as safety measurements that are required. Um, it also comes with a, a software application, our TrueTest desktop software, for any kind of report or documentation needs. And then the last thing I'll talk about today, we don't have a product with us. Um, it's still in development, but we do have some flyers um, and we'll be providing more information in the months to come. Um, but this is a product that we're planning on launching for testing the level three or fast DC charging stations. Um, it's kind of similar format. It's meant for field testing, um, for looking at performance and safety metrics. Um, and we're hoping to launch before the end of this year. So yeah, more to come there. Awesome, thank you very much.